Rat. Rat. Stop it. Stop it. Behave yourself. Cease at attacking me. Thank you. You're dead. Jesus. There's a bear on the island. Oh, what is that move? Don't do that. And we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lag, and this is Raph. And as you can see, we're still at the giant boat that we pulled up to. We're going to go in there today and figure this whole thing out. But first, I was over here chopping down trees and getting the stuff out of the bottom of the ocean. And I came across a couple of things that I didn't want to pick up until you guys were here. And now that you're here, we'll pick it up. It's a mechanical part. And if we open up our notebook over here on the left side, it says we have collected one mechanical part. Uh, so this will be used for somewhere inside of this yacht kind of we're gonna have to kind of find things to advance through the yacht so that's one of the things you need to find i think there's a way we can get in on this side of the yacht so i'm gonna swim over here then we're gonna see if we can get inside yeah here we go right up here perfect there's a door and everything let's go up the door in the door in the door we go oh it's a long hallway okay i did bring my headlamp but i'm not gonna put it on until we get to super dark spots like i've i've played in here before and i know that this is bright enough to where we can kind of see and I don't want to waste my headlamp because the battery on it goes super quick. I don't think the power is working. Lots of free scrap around here. We're going to grab all of that stuff because it's so useful. Hey, a crowbar. I don't remember picking up a recorder, but we got a recorder. We've got a mechanical part and we've got a crowbar. And a note. Just a note about the captain and where they are headed on this yacht. I don't think they made it. Oh, we got a door here that says use the crowbar. So let's use the crowbar. Crowbar used. New hallway. Ooh, oh boy. There's a mutant rat. I'm pretty sure that's what this thing is. And I'm gonna just stab it. And then it's gonna bite me. And I'm gonna, it's gonna bite me again. And I'm gonna stab it again. Play this game with you all day. Hmm, rat meat. My favorite. All right, it might be dark enough to where we should probably put on the helmet in this room. So let's do that. There's no way to toggle on and off the helmet. You've just got to put it on and take it off. Uh, we need a bolt cutter to get in there. Oh, some food and a big box. That had all kind of bolts, glass, scrap, planks, all kind of good stuff in that box too. So we need to come back to this room when we find the bolt cutter. Onward to more adventure into the stairs. Oh, requires a blue key. Can't go in there. Let's keep going. Bathroom. Don't mind if I do any mutant rats in here. No. Some plastic though. There is a key right here. The red key. That door said we needed a red key? I don't even remember. Backtracking, yeah, it's a blue key. We have a red key. So there's gonna be a door somewhere that needs a red key too. So we have that, got it. Let's go in here. Ooh, more plastic and scrap. Dude, we're gonna have so much scrap and plastic by the time we're out of here. I mean, lots and lots of plastic, even more plastic. But here's a propane tank, let's grab that. And if we open up our notebook, that is one of the items for this area. So I don't know what we're gonna use all this for. I do know what we're gonna use it all for, but you don't know what we're using it for, and I'll show you soon. Hey, a note. That note was telling us that they're running out of rations on the ship because they're treating it like a luxury cruise. And it's not. This is uh, obviously a ship that was taken to uh, avoid the flooding waters of the cities, and uh, they're going through all their rations really quickly. Red key used. Ooh, it's dark in here. Back on with the helmet. Hey, another mechanical part. We'll grab that. Hey, the bolt cutters. Found them. And another note. That was a note about the rats. The rats are now eating the supplies as well. Unusually large rats. So here we have a workbench that requires electrical wires, a lighter, a gas tank, and a bullet. Well, we definitely have the gas tank, but we don't have any of that other stuff. And this one requires five mechanical parts. And if we open our notebook, we have two mechanical parts. So we need three more of those. I say let's backtrack to where we needed to use the bolt cutters on that locker and see what's in the locker. Okay, here we are. Bolt cutters. Use them inside oh it's the blue key all right cool we got the other key that we need and then another note so that note was explaining that this boat is owned by a very rich and powerful man named olaf now olaf was telling the captain where to go and the captain was arguing it with him about his route as well as the crew of the ship weren't giving olaf any respect so he cut them all off from rations hey look we're upstairs now we use the key and looks like we got a couple ways to go let's check out maybe this way see what's over here Oh, it's a bar and it's another note. Oh, it's the bullets we needed. Okay, cool. Oh, another mechanical part here. Cool. Anything else? Nope. How about this note? Oh my God, this is a dark place, man. So Olaf has decided they're gonna have a meeting tonight to decide which staff members are suitable for termination. Sounds like Olaf is gonna start killing the staff of the boat. Oh, hey, I'll take that. What is that, a can? Okay. 
So we got the bullets. We got another mechanical part. We're just missing two more mechanical parts. I think this is where we came in at down there. So let's not go down there. We have some uh, cabins here. See if we can find anything interesting inside of them. Kind of mechanical parts or pieces or notes. I'll take. Nothing in this one. There was someone named Hannah on the boat. I think she repairs the engines. And she walked in on Olaf doing something to one of the rats. Perhaps experimenting on them? Not sure. Cabin number three. Oh, the captain's quarters. Surely we'll find something in here. Surely. Oh, there's a safe. Oh, there's a mutant rat. Hold on. Stop it. Bad rat. Bad rat. Don't stop biting me. Got you. More rat meat for me. Wonderful. Can't wait to put that on the grill and eat it. Requires a four-digit code, to which I do not have. We'll have to come back here to open that safe at some point with some sort of storage room. Okay, some food. Excellent. Some cooked beets and watermelon. We got another mechanical part. I think we're just missing one now. And a crate full of the good stuff. So I believe if we go back to where we saw that pool table at, there was some stairs going up. Yeah, right here. Let's go up. Up we go. Rat. Rat. Stop it. Stop it. Behave yourself. Cease at attacking me. Thank you. You're dead. Just like all the others before you. You have perished in battle. Uh, we got stairs going up, but we'll clear uh, one floor at a time. Hang on. There's an exit here. Just takes us out to the uh, deck. Requires a key card. Don't have that. I guess we'll open all these. These are locked because you can jump up onto this railing. If you're clever, you can get up here. So they locked all the doors. But now, if we need to go back to our raft, we have a shortcut to get back up here. Hey, more food. Beet break. Potato break. You guessed it. Watermelon break. Oh, look what I found. I think that's five. So I think we should go back downstairs to that workbench that needed five mechanical parts. And we'll go see what it was that it does. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, it's the four-digit code for the safe. So we got two places to go back to now. We'll go open the safe and we'll go back down and put the five mechanical parts and a note. Okay, there's a lot to unpack with that note. Olaf is training the rats using food and discipline. He can make them his new soldiers. He calls them lurkers. He also got a transmission from a nearby place called Caravan Town, which has an active population of animals. And Olaf is questioning if he shares the blood of the lurkers with the animal population Caravan Town, if he can create an army. Use five mechanical parts. Don't mind if I do. We just made a car jack. And now we can also open the safe and see what's inside of there. Oh God. Oh, they spawned back in. Come here, you. Yeah. All right, what's in the safe? We've got electrical wires and we've got another note. Captain's dead, the boat's adrift. That's that note. And the crew has formed a mutiny. So Olaf is using the rats to take out the crew. These rats. Yeah. We got to figure out where to use that car jack that we just made. I think we've explored. Wait a minute. What is this door? Uh, supply closet. It won't let us open it. Okay, I think we've explored this entire floor and there was a set of stairs over here we can go up. Now that door still requires a key card, which we don't have yet, but we can go up the stairs. See what's up here on the next floor. Hello? Didn't miss that time, did I, rat? Or that time. Or this time. Yeah, it says we can use our car jack right here. We'll move this big safe or refrigerator or whatever that is right out the way. Timber. Nice. Now we can go in here. What's in here? What's in the box? Pick up the crate. It had bolts and biofuel and scrap and metal. Now that's the first time we've gotten biofuel and we'll use that to run our engines. I am out of space in my inventory, so I'm just going to put my uh, headlamp on to free up a, a inventory spot and we'll just run through the battery. Who cares? And another note. That was like a newspaper clipping that was talking about uh, the Floating Cities project. And I think Olaf, the owner of this yacht, was supposed to be a donor, like giving money towards the project. And I think he pulled out of it. So he's a greedy uh, person as well as being insane and taming rats. There's another set of stairs going up and then another set of stairs going up. We can go back down and use that key card. Hey, a crate full of stuff that I can't carry. Requires the green key. What's all the way up top? Requires one bomb. Okay, so the only place I think we can go right now is back to the door that required the key card. 
And if I'm not mistaken, that's one floor below us. How do I get there? Use the key card. There we go. Ooh, a study. Must be Olaf's office. Hey, what is this? A green key card. Okay, I mean a green key. All right, great. We need that for upstairs. So let's go back upstairs. Open. The bathroom. It's in the bathroom. Nothing. Wow, look at this tub. Rat. Ow. Ow. Twice. Twice. Three times. Ow. Four times. Ow. Stop it. Don't kill me. Don't you dare. You're the one who's been killed. Nice try, though. Almost got me. There's got to be something important up here. There is a lighter. I think that's everything we need to go back downstairs and make whatever we're going to make. Plus another note. Yeah, okay. So um, the boat hit the rocks where we currently find ourselves now. And Olaf and the rest of the crew escaped on life rafts. So who knows where Olaf went. And, and the rats obviously stayed behind because they're here. And I don't know where the crew went. But they're no longer on the ship because they ran aground. Speaking of ships, what a mighty vessel sitting right off the rocks there. The SS Tinkerbell at her finest. Here we are. Use electrical wires, lighter, gas tank, and bullet. We have all those things, so here we go. We have now made a bomb. All right, here we go. Use one bomb. Yes, I will. Don't blow me up, please. <laughs> Open sesame. What do we got? Scrap. A box, give me the box. Good stuff, more biofuel, another recipe, some hinges. Oh, that looks wonderful. But watch our food when we eat this. Look how much it gives us bonus bar. That's why we need to make the uh, the cooking pot, I think it's called, when we get back to the boat, we should probably make that. Because as you can see, when we go on these kind of uh, story locations, they take a while, you go through a lot of food and water. Uh, luckily here, we found plenty of food and water, so I barely had to use my own. But some of these other ones are even longer than this one. But we are at the end of this one. Let's see what we can find here. We've got a note. Balboa, question mark? Yeah, Balboa's our next story location right there. Number 9615. So we'll punch that in when we get back to the boat. Also, we got the blueprint for the engine, finally. Right here looks like the blueprint for the steering wheel. So that's it for the yacht. Let's swim back to our raft. See if Bruce is here to greet us, Bruce. Please don't. Just fought mutant rats, and I don't have time for this, nor do I have the energy for it. Just leave me alone. Let me board my vessel. Home, sweet home, and I did some changing around. This is the back of the under of the ship. And as you can see, I put up this wall around the anchor here. So we got a little anchor room, and it kind of separates the back from the front. I also found a nice little cubby hole to squeeze the water thing in, so that works pretty good. We stick these uh, juice recipes right here on the wall. That we collected from the uh, yacht. That way when I make our juicer, we're good. So yeah, anyways, we got the water thing there. And then if we come over here, we have got... Oh yeah, I moved my storage chest. They're in here now. I can fit, I think, four more in there. I could probably mirror that on the other side. Oh, I already did. Yeah, and I can do like eight in here, I'm guessing. So I'll have tons of chests. But yeah, my garden from the last episode, as you can see, I've kind of expanded upon it. And I've got this uh, the watering thing here too. So as we pick them, it'll just self-water, no problem. And I've got a bunch of beets growing right now because we will be using those to make biofuel. And this is pretty interesting. These little tiny baskets here are actually the same as the things with the beet in them. You can, you can like put them on the ceiling and they turn into hanging baskets, or you can even put them on a wall like that. So depending upon where you place them, they kind of change uh, how they look, which is really neat. So yeah, I figured we can do some... Um, I don't know, potatoes in these maybe. And eventually you get strawberries. So I want to save some room for strawberries. And uh, let's go to the top of the ship. See if I've done anything different up there. Well, by golly, I finished the rail. That's different. And I put a couple trees up here because I want to grow some, what are they? Mango trees. Because I use those in the juicer once I make the juicer. And then I built this tiny little extension for that antenna because eventually I'm gonna have a big windmill here that'll charge our batteries and it's pretty big and that antenna would have been in the way. On to the business at hand. We've got to name these animals and I saw your suggestions from the last video down in the comment section so thanks for participating and I think my favorite was Cheech and Chong because they need the grass to survive and if you're an adult you get that all right if you're a child their names are fluffy and bouncy all right but if you're an adult Cheech and Chong however 
just before I decided I was going to name them Cheech and Chong, I kept reading and saw something even better. But I do think I'm going to name this guy Cheech, all right? And I'm pretty sure that's C-H-E-E-C-H. Cheech? Maybe. Anyways, that's his name now. That one's Cheech. And instead of naming you Chong, I'm going to name you Tom B. Enough people said to name him Tom B after Tom Brady, the GOAT. Because the GOAT is an acronym, greatest of all time. And Tom Brady, arguably, is the greatest quarterback in the NFL who's ever played. So the GOAT gets to be named after Tom Brady. Tom B. Done. All right, then. Well, that was easy enough. Tom B and Cheech. Yeah, we can do a little snipping. And we'll take our wool and put it in there. And I have a trash cube already made. And I think I've got a few made. I've got two made so far, so we can go buy 12 more bait so we can earn some more reputation next time we're at one of the big islands. Balboa, nine, six, one, five. All right, that needs to be a five on the end. This needs to be a nine. And the next one needs to be a six. That one needs to be a one. There it is. Oh, you see, it's in the other direction. Everything so far has been in front of us. They did that on purpose because we have the engines now, so we can go... No matter which way the wind is telling us we can't go, we can go that way now because we can power through with the engine. So, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's make some engines. I need to go to the research table first and learn them. Yeah, they're both here, so that's great. Learn and learn. That's the steering wheel and the engines all learnt up. All right, for our engines, we're going to need 20... Or we're going to need five metal, five rope, one circuit board, and 20 planks. Let's make the rope... I'm going to go ahead and make 10 rope because I'm going to make two engines if I can. Means I'm going to need two circuit boards. Looks like I have enough to do that. So two circuit boards. Now I just need... It's 20 planks per engine? Uh-oh. Oh, I'll have just enough to make two engines with one plank left over. And I have enough metal. So here we go. One engine. Oh, I need more rope. Got it. All right. Two engines. So you only need one engine per 100 foundations. I don't think we have over 100 foundations, so probably one engine would work. But uh, here we are. We're making two, so the boat will be symmetrical. It'll look better this way. Then we'll throw that there. And then we have two engines and just make sure they're going the same direction. They are. Now, the only problem is this thing runs off of planks for now. And I only have one plank. So I think we need to set a drift and collect some wood in our net catchers for a little while. And then when I have enough planks, we'll fire them up. Totally forgot about the steering wheel. 10 scrap, 4 metal ingots, 4 rope, and 2 hinges. We can place it right there. Turn it around this way. There we go. And now we can steer our ship without having to go up to the sail and turn the sail. Well, that took no time at all to get some wood. So, let's put some in here. I don't know how many it takes to fill it up, but I'm guessing like probably 10 per, per engine. No, 10 only got a little over halfway. So, closer to 20 per engine to fill her up. So... It's very costly to run these things until we learn the blueprint for biofuel. All right, now we can crank these guys on. I got them filled up. So you turn on the engine there, and you turn on the engine here, and we've got two engines rolling now. So now we're going to get some speed. We just need to figure out which way we need to go. So behind us, turn the wheel, and that should do it. Let's check the radar. It's right in front of us, 517 meters away. The other two blue dots are ones we've already been to, right? No, wait. Is that the one we need to go to? Uh-oh, I'm confused. I wish it would get rid of the other blue ones and just show me the one I need to go to. I think we might be going back to... Uh-oh. We could be going to the tower. You know what? I'm going to guess it's the blue one with the square around it. And now we're going at the blue one with the square on it. It's 1,900 meters away, which makes a lot of sense because... Uh, that other one was way too close. So, all right, we'll go to that one. We're going to that one. That's where we're going. We are just chugging right along. Now I'm past... Oh, God, I'm passing the uh, the ship that we... <laughs> Am I going in a circle? Listen, I don't know where we're going, but we're going to get there. Look at the engines. They're awesome. And I hit this barrel? High-speed barrel attempt. First try? First try. It is entirely possible that I'm going back to the radar tower. I just don't know, and we may never know until we get there. If we stay on this course, though, there should be a giant island ahead of us before we get to the new location, and we can get some more dirt to finish our animal pen, and if we're lucky, we can find a little chicken to catch. That'll be all three animal types that you can uh, use for your benefit. Speaking of using for my benefit, snip, snip. In you go, wool. Yeah, make another cube. Cube me, baby. I'm getting plenty of wood out of these collection nets to keep topping off the engines, although I've barely used any 
of the fuel so far. Yeah, about a quarter gone. We can top them off as we're going. I want to make this cooking pot. We need six planks, six plastic, two metal ingots. Ooh, I'm running low on metal. I got to smelt some up and probably get some more soon. Uh, we need one bolt and four vine gill. I have all of that. So let's go ahead and make the cooking pot because this will greatly benefit us later on as we're doing some of these story islands and locations. We'll just put it right next to the grill right there. Let's see. Do I have any recipes for the cooking pot? No, these are all just juicers. We don't know any recipes yet for the cooking pot, so we can't make anything yet. We'll cook some metal. We'll empty our collection nets. We'll top off the engines. Oh, yeah, there's a big island right next to us. Let's stop at that one. There it is. We'll get some dirt. Let's find dirt and find a trader. We'll get some more special bait. Continue to earn reputation. All right, so we'll be looking for another puffer fish, more dirt, and let me get my trash cubes because it's a big island and all the big islands should have a trader on them somewhere. Now, this island doesn't look very tropical, so this island might have bears on it, but it also have... It might have a really cool resource that we're going to need to make biofuel. So let me see if I can make something for us. What I need is a sweep net. And so I'm going to make that now and hope that this island has bees on it. We'll, cap we'll capture some bees. Now we have a net. Very cool. Oh, I see bees. All right, cool. Make sure there's no bear around. You know, bears love honey. But yeah, there's bees here. So we can swoop and capture the bees. We have bees in a bee jar now. So the honeycombs are how we're going to make fuel and the bees, we can actually make our own beehive for the boat and they can produce honey for us on the boat so we don't have to stop at the island and search for honeycombs. But I think we're going to need more bees than what I've just caught. I think it's like 15 bees to make a bee colony, a bee box, a beehive. There's a bear on this island. Show yourself now, coward, and I'll go easy on you. And by easy on you, I mean I'll make it a quick death. Jesus! There's a bear on the island. All right, take it easy. Poke, and we back off. And then we poke, and we back off, and he does an AOE ground pound there. Watch out for that. And then we poke, and we back off, and then we do some more poking, and more backing off, and he swipes, and I stab. And he pounds, and I stab. Oh, he got me. Uh-oh, I'm backing into a tree. All right, watch out. Easy, easy. Oh, what is that move? Don't do that. Oh, he did it again. Stop doing that. Oh, you're dead, and I'm alive. Ha-ha, excellent. So we will capture all of the bees and get stung by them a little bit, but we'll capture them. There we go. And we'll also get all of the honey. And oh my God, there's another bear. Let's take him out. I only have a few arrows, but maybe this will be easier or safer. Oh, he's running. What a coward. Get back here. I didn't mean to call you a coward. I didn't mean it. Stop. Stop or I'll shoot. I shot. How many arrows is it going to take? These are stone arrows. That was number five, I think. And that's the last of my arrows. But combined with a stab, oh, and another stab, and one more stab, nope, okay. Easy bear, nice stabs. We got him, so it's like six stone arrows and like four pokes with the stick. And now I'm a bear, how fun. I haven't seen a single animal other than the bears and almost every big island in my experience has some kind of tameable animal. So I'm going to go slowly around this island and find that table blano. It's around here somewhere. But first, let's buy some simple fishing bait for the low, low price of one trash cube. And I left all of my trash cubes on the boat. Mind your business, Bruce. Eh. And we can just pin our recipe right here to the cooker. Boom. I'm going to see if I can catch a couple of those fish and cook my first meal. Oh, I caught the herrings that we needed. And I'm pretty sure I have two potato or two... Beets just laying around. Yeah, here's two beets right here to go along with the two herrings. So check this out. This is how this works. So the recipe calls for two of either potatoes or beets. So we'll put down the two beets. It calls for two herrings or two pomfrey or one of each actually would work as well. We've got them. Then we put some wood in the underneath it and we hit start cooking. And there goes all the ingredients. I don't think I've researched the leather. So let's do that. And it's now researched. And I can research the bee jars it's telling me, so we should research that. And I never researched seaweed. Are you kidding me? Okay. So there's a seaweed research, and we learned flippers so we can swim faster. That actually might be pretty useful. And then the bees, we can research them, and there's our beehive. Also, I've never researched wool. So as soon as I research wool, we're going to learn a bigger backpack. So I definitely need to do that right now. Looks like we'll also learn our armor finally too. So let's go research some wool. Let's do some clipping and researching. But first, soup's done. I made a bowl using two clay and that makes four bowls. 
So there we go. We've got some fish soup here. And if you watch our hunger bar, it's going to give us a little bonus. It's not as good as that other soup that we found, but it's still pretty good. That's definitely the way to go. Kind of have a few bowls of soup ready when we go to a story location. All right. Research the wool. We have now got leather greaves, leather body armor, leather helmet, plus bigger backpack. Learn, 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 learn. Well, I need six wool for the uh, backpack, so we're going to have to wait a little bit for that. Yeah, I totally forgot we were supposed to get some dirt while we were on this island. Here's some mushrooms and some dirt. Let's get it. Cheech and Tom B are going to be so happy that they're going to get two more grass patches. I got enough dirt for two more. Okay, at the traders with my trash cube. I can buy four. That's 16 simple fishing bait, which means I will guaranteed to catch 16 special fish, which I can sell back to the trader, which will give me 160 reputation which when I do sell, will put me at 200 of the 300 we need to finally unlock tier two. And then we can start buying metal and copper instead of having to swim down for it, which is gonna be awesome. Guess what, boys? Grass is served. There you go. Some more grass, water it, do your job. Thank you. Okay, let's make a beehive. It needs 20 planks. I have 24. Yikes. Okay, I need eight plastic. Got that. Four clay. Just enough. And two hinges. Got that. And 15 bees. So, boom. And now we can take this over here next to our garden. And I'm thinking we'll plop one here. We'll do one on the other side to match it. But that's all I can do right now because that's all I have enough for. And the bees won't actually do anything unless there's some flowers nearby to pollinate. Now, those little tiny islands have tons of flowers you can pick. You get flower seeds. That's why I hung these. That's right. I'm going to put the flower up top there and that'll get the bees going. They can pollinate it and make honey. We'll have another bee thing over here with flowers up here and these bees will be active. And then we'll have all the honey we need to make biofuel once we get that blueprint. Well, what a great day of rafting. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24 and I will see you uh, next time.